Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So, dear Dharma friends, when we trying to to experience the very essence of the moment, the very reality of the moment, the mostly our own mind get disturbed. And sometimes to let go of our habit is not easy, but still repeating our habits means just it belong to sansara. We belong to habits, that's it. Being mindful is the one of most important thing. Even though in the moment you are not successful, even you are unhappy, difficult, sad, worry, in that very moment, if you are mindful regarding that situation or the moment, that is more worth than unconscious happiness. So remember that. So the one time Socrates was asked, he used to talk about uh, contentment mostly. One student asked, In next life, if you become contentment pig, or if you become unhappy human, which one are you going to select? Because you so appreciate about contentment, and in next life, if you become the very content pig, are you going to become like that? So then the Socrates told, no, I going to select unhappy human existence. And then the student had the argument, how you say, why you say that? Because you always talk about contentment. It is one of your main principle. So then the, the, Socrates told, rather than becoming unconscious content pig, it is better to become conscious unhappy human being. So see that where that he is trying to address. So in the in day to day life ourselves, always remember, look yourself. The thing is this. The mostly we forget our condition, our condition of our mind when we are in come to situation. We give more attention or the more credit regarding the outside situation. And because of that, we cannot get the clear understanding regarding the the situation, why? Because we are not really conscious. So whatever happened in your life, always remember that things that whatever happened, this outside world is not, we cannot change that. We cannot change, you know yourself, see that in, in a family. So the people we associate and sometimes how, well, how that sometimes people used to live 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years together. But still look, even your own children, hmm? then from the birth, they you, you used to take care of them and raise them. But still look, when situations come, they react in different, different ways. So, if you put too much attention to that, and sometimes you forget the condition of your mind. So just take it as a condition of the world. Don't personalize and start to look the condition of your mind. 
Why? Because there were there are two main schools regarding the the this the the when we come to the condition of this mind, how we condition our mind. There are two major philosophical conversations in the world. One is some school says when we come to this world, mind already conditioned. We cannot do anything. It's already set up. So then we go with it. And another school, another arguments there. When we come to this world, we come very with the very fresh mind. And one time Buddha also mentioned the newly born child, Pabhasaramidam Bhikkave Chittang, the newly born child, consciousness, awareness, very fresh, shiny, vivid. But because of the culture, tradition, this our environment, our parents' behavior, and our schooling, so this thing, our religions, these things, brings us all the conditions to our mind. So those are main major, the philosophical arguments going on, how the mind can condition. But when it comes to the Buddha's teaching, when we look very deeply through the sutras, if I minimize it to the, the very simple idea, it is because we come with the, when we come to mother's womb, this already, we come as a result of our previous action, previous karma. That's why inside the, your mother's womb, you come with this eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind already set up inside your mother's womb according to your past karma. And then once you come to this world, you have power to do with your bodily, verbally or mentally action, you have power to do the good karma or the new karma. So you have previous karma, that's why you get the birth. And then after you come out of the mother's womb, you can perform your bodily, verbally or mentally action. So that action, not just related with your previous, that action mostly related with your environment and the necessary conditions in that very moment wherever you are. So then there is a interconnection in between your past and the present moment. And according to the Buddha's teaching, it is not go to main one kind of one extreme level of side. Oh, it happened because of the past. Oh, no, 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 no. It happened because of the environment. So this both involving with for your present moment, whatever the action you do. But in between this both, awareness, clear comprehension or sati sampajanya, your awareness is always new. It's not depending, even though you come as a karma and even though the, 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 in your, uh, the moment by moment the situation happens, there is a way you can get out of this both and you become completely new person. Even though you, as example, even though you born with the very heavy karma, that means very difficult bad karma. Just imagine, you born with that and there is no chance in this world to get into yourself to something good, comfortable. So then whatever the environment also you experience, you receive according to that karma, then it's kind of like, a, just imagine you are in the, you are in, in even you are human life, you feel all the experience like you are in hell. But it's still power of this human existence. The what the Buddha mentioned, even though you experience this both to 100% bad, if you become mindful, if you develop your awareness, 
clear comprehension or the sati sampajanya you have opportunity to change your moment that is why i call manu pubbangama dhamma your mind is the porana not your past karma or not your environment don't try to blame to anybody around you whatever the situation you go through in the beginning the thing is this the the world teaches the society teaches our parents our religions teach us they already feed us when somebody behave this way it disturb me like this it is should should not to do so that's why i experience this so like that we already condition our mind in that condition we look we go to the society if our if we learn from the beginning without anything or anybody be be aware be mindful and according to that so whatever then you going to go with it and your life going to be completely 100% change look yourself how many unconscious ideas you took in your life and major things major decisions you took without knowing any clue what going to happen and then now you are in trouble sometimes and it happen everywhere if, so if you but if you become conscious it doesn't matter whatever happen wherever you are whoever with you it doesn't matter if you become conscious you going to be okay so i i give an example with that the sometimes when people want to get marriage because that is the main reason that the life is kind of like a, you you going to deal with the the heaven or hell when you going to get married and sometimes you you depending from the other side husband or wife if you get the wrong person then that you believe that you go it's everything finish if you get the right person but in our countries sometimes you know there are people put advertisement looking for a husband or wife on the paper and sometimes i i had this question for a long time how this ha- how this can happen like this way and how you can find your partner just putting advertisement it happen everywhere as people find in different different ways so then one day i had the conversation with the our teacher and then that he told me no that is when you become conscious if you are aware if you become mindful it doesn't matter whatever the person you get you willing to give your love so that is more greater than you find your person and you have the affair with that person and then you get that person and you marry with that person and you live there with that person that not that nothing wrong that nice but when it come to our this this topic becoming a mindful becoming more conscious if you are become conscious and it give a greater great experience to yourself when you find somebody you don't know anything about that person but you ready to live with that person so how you going to deal with that kind of person what you need because you cannot expect anything from this person this person should be like this so like because you don't know about that person. and maybe mostly some other people that uh, give certain kind of uh, ideas about the people and then people get into this but if you become mindful and you can you can live with anybody so that's one example but mostly what we why we fail in our day to day life 
because we we condition our mind according to ideas so i tell you one thing you so you climb a tree and then you fell down you broke your leg went to surgery and somehow had the severe pain for three four months and then everybody in your family had the hard time to go to hospital and uh, and take care of you and even yourself and everyone just experience it to the maximum level of difficulties and now then you got cured then it happened 10 years before 10 years now everything good now you back to normal then your son or daughter trying to climb the tree and then you say be careful in what sense you try you say be careful that if you say with the pain that you went through the experience that you went through when you say be careful so that is you trying to condition your child mind according to your pain but when it come to sati sampajanya kriya kram pihinchan it is totally different so that is what happening in every day in in our life that is how we condition it's so deep you have to look very carefully when you say be careful you have the pain that you went through and with that pain you already experience that pain and with that pain you try to tell to other person be careful because you don't want that person to have the pain that you went through and if you try to condition the mind like that way i gave just one example the everything even the when you have a good meal and you feel oh it is very good and then you tell to somebody hey this is very good eat but you don't see deeper you your mind already condition and you try to condition other other person mind and then in case that person so in the in the surface level you see oh we have to do that way we have to do that way that is not what you have to tell when the person when the child climb the tree you should not tell be careful with the sense that the child should not get the the pain what you should what you got you have to tell be mindful maybe what you happen what because you fell down because you you didn't you not mindful when you climb the tree that is the mistake not the pain if you address with the pain not to have the pain you completely wrong i i think i hope you you get uh, the this but you don't see the if you go to the the 10 years back if you reverse the accident that whatever happened to you the very the epicenter of your incident is you was not conscious so then rather than saying don't that be careful because the this is this is if you fell down it is very painful everybody have to go to hospital and everybody have going to have a hard time like that in that sense when you say be careful you condition the child mind according to your experience but if you recognize where you made a mistake you was not conscious let child to climb the tree but tell hey be conscious why because if you are not conscious you going to fall down maybe you you say 
you survive with breaking leg, but maybe you're going to hit his head. Because we he fell down, may, how you can say exactly he's going to break his leg? He's going to get the pain like that. But in the condition of your pain, if you give the advice, that's mean in case if he fell down, he's going to break his leg because that is the experience you go through. So like that, dear devotees, my friends, when you look very deeply, even when we look at our husband, wife, children, friends and family members, and sometimes we have no idea that we never meet the real, real relationships or the real experience because we already condition our mind and we trying to experience that conditions. But when you come to the, the vipassana level of experience, you become completely pure human being rather than depending from name or form. That is the highest experience. That is the most beautiful experience that you can gain in this human life. That is why when the people, it's like it like this. Then the why the Buddha Buddha came to this world and eons, eons, you know, that uh, went through search, experiencing and great research. And after that, why the Buddha came with the great compassion to tell this. And from that to this more than 2,500 years, many, many enlightened masters, your ancestors, you know, sacrificing their life. Why they protect this dharma? Why all around the world, these monks, you know, the, the lay people, devotees, and they sacrifice their everything and try to protect this dharma? Because we mostly don't experience our reality. We are kind of like a third party human being second class human being, not the first level of the, the, the main experience we don't get. Second class human beings mean we follow someone else's dogmas or the ideas or the believings or the preachings or the dharma. And thinking we experience, no, you have the complete authority to experience something completely new. You no need to read books to experience your life. But the, the conventional world not allow you to do like that way. Why? Because it is a huge business. They say you have to read the books to have a good life. Then you condition. If you don't read the books and if you experience your life yourself, you have the doubt. Is this real or not? Oh, I have to read books. And then you read books. If, we, if you read books, everybody say, oh, my child is very good, my husband good, my wife good. Why? Because reading, reading. And you're putting everything to your head and then your head get covered, your mind, brain get covered with the deeper and deeper and ideas. And then you come out of the, that ideas and start to look at the world, you get depressed. That's what happened. Look how many books we read more than any other time. How many uh, that the waste we have the education to uh, school ourselves, but look at the world who, who becoming happy every day. And uh, last few days I was doing, uh, reading some articles, the suicide rate more than any other time in the human history. The suicide rate, look, that is where we are. How it is possible? And the yoga classes more than any other time. People practice yoga, meditation more than any other time. And then the all kind of the methods, medias to, to get the information. How possible more than any other time people suicide? You have to take it very seriously because underneath this all, there is something wrong. What is that wrong? Thing. is we are kind of like you heard 
where sometimes this uh, billion billion dollars jackpot hit uh, sometimes they say it's still unclaimed so that means maybe that ticket with somebody else pocket that person don't know it's a billion dollar you know jackpot hit and sometimes it is somewhere on, on your wallet or the on the table or maybe on some somewhere inside the book or the, maybe it is in a trash can so our life also the same we are we became human beings we have this all oh, everything with this eye ear nose tongue body mind and we won the ticket that ticket means we you you hit the jackpot billion billion dollars jackpot that jackpot is your consciousness but it is in a trash can that is the tragedy that is why every people suicide and even they see you know the recently you heard in this bollywood they bullying each other the all this well known well famous actors actresses they bullying each other and recently one of the the actors suicide how it is possible look because your children our next generation they follow this all the characters they all the people around us and anthony bodin you know the people were so crazy to watch his film and people follow them but finally the whoever you follow if that person whoever your child follow actor or actress that person suicide where are your child going to end so that's why reason that i was reading this all the the articles regarding this suicide rate and why it is happening like this because underneath there is something wrong that what is that wrong we not allow our consciousness to to awake so that is why the buddha address this even ancient time to now people try to build up cult cult groups sangha so like that people like to develop their devotees and they are trying to build up their followers nobody care about your own salvation but the buddha is the one who came forward and wish 100% that to find your own salvation to yourself but for that you have to you have to rather than depending you have to work for that and even during the buddha's time there were monks and uh, there was a monk called vakkali that monk used to come and always look at the buddha and then the buddha said vakkali what you doing here you not going to get anything just looking at me go and start to practice yourself and find the salvation find the liberation that is the truth so then you yourself remember don't condition your mind don't condition your children's mind whatever you are ex- you you had the experience don't try to inject that experience to your children always remember teach them to be conscious when you able to give that gift to them wherever they are whatever the condition whatever the lifestyle they going they going to be okay look at ourselves look you know the the 2020 we are and we had the old we used to believe we had the great science technology mass media that everything what look how entire world need down this 2020 in the middle of 21st century it is a shame entire humanity you no know, what is the success we had nothing look at our leaders you know when they come to in front of the people you know how they criticize others you know how they imitate others how they say bad words regarding other people great you know the the country leaders so where, where are we where are we going is that is that is what the the world we living and tell all the lies in front in front of the whole world the great you know the leaders come and tell lies and say bad things about other people 
say always wrong things about other people. You know, when your children look at this and how they going to get into better place, you have to think because our parents didn't think. Our ancestors didn't think like that. They thought it's going to be okay. No, but the Buddha thought about it. That's why it thought, be conscious. That's it you need. When you become conscious, there is a way you're going to recognize this is wrong. You're going to recognize this is right. That understanding you need, if you look for, even in the conventional level, if you look for very basic happiness. Even you, you are a beggar under the tree. If you become mindful and you're going to be okay. But even if you become a millionaire, if you are not conscious, remember you are in a great danger. So that's why, and try to remember yourself, don't condition your mind. And other thing is, don't condition your husband mind, don't condition your wife mind, don't condition your children's mind, don't condition your parents' mind, don't condition your devotees or the, your followers' mind, don't condition your friends or the family members' mind, according to your experience. Your experience you had, that's gone. But allow everyone to be conscious, help them to be conscious, lead them to, guide them to be conscious, make them free completely. And when anybody become conscious, it's always they going to end in the right path. So with that, I bless upon everyone with this good Patrice. May all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patient courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. And finally, may you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabbiti yo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatantarayo sukini gayu ko bhava ittavata chami sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva numodantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta numodantu Sabba Sampati Siddhya Sabbe Satta Numodantu Sabba Sampati Siddhya Idamme Punya Kamanga Savakaya Vango Tu Sabba Dukkha Pamunchatu Bless you.